Each year, dozens of students walk the halls and inhabit the editing rooms at Washington State University's Edward R. Murrow College of Communication. Years ago, one student in particular was doing the same. Though she didn't know it at the time, Kathy Gertson would leave a lasting impression on Washington State University and the Pacific Northwest. Gertson, who died in 2012 after a courageous and public battle with a brain tumor, continues to inspire a new generation of WSU students. Kathy Gertson, as a reporter, is really a role model for um, aspiring reporters like myself. She definitely spoke to her audience with um, a, a sense of warmth where she really was talking to you, not just the camera that she was looking at. And in here, it's cold, 15 degrees below zero. After graduating from WSU in 1980, Gertson was hired at Como 4 News in Seattle. She would remain there for more than 30 years, covering some of the most important stories of our time, both locally and internationally. The body of Mayir Kahana is on its way home to Israel tonight. Her time at Como made her one of Seattle's most recognized and trusted figures, and here at the Murrow College, one of its most celebrated alumni. Well, if you ever were to talk with Kathy, there was this huge passion and the recognition that she was talking directly to you. She was uh, always enthusiastic, always happy, always positive, and always dedicated to what she can do to help the students here. Hi everybody and welcome back to Children's Hospital. I'm here with my special little friend Chelsea and we are sharing But it wasn't just her warm her personality and ability to connect with the audience that made her a great reporter. Though she was always enthusiastic and happy and cheerful, she was a serious, serious reporter. She was someone who valued ethics and, and took seriously her responsibility as a journalist. Even in the middle of all her success, she never forgot the place she came from. Well, you know, we have a saying, once a kook, always a kook. And I think she just simply understood the difference that WSU made in her life. And she wanted to do the same for students and others. After her passing, WSU alumni and staff sought for a way to honor her. The decision was made for the university to rename its communication edition in her honor. We had this relatively new building, and we thought this was the logical thing. Rename it for her and then launch an effort to upgrade the building and, and really make it cutting edge. The formal ceremony for the Kathy Gertson Building dedication will be held here at the building itself on Saturday, September 14th. As you can see, the sign behind me has yet to be unveiled. Well, she'll always be remembered, and that was our goal. That is to do something in a very meaningful way in which people would not forget the contributions that she's made. And we believe this building dedication and the naming of the building generally will stand the test of time. From the Gertzen Communication Edition at Washington State University, I'm Stevie Chapman.